Alright, so I don't know how many people have heard about it or seen anything on it. I've just caught wind of it today. I've heard rumors in the past. Um, YouTube itself is going to be having an update soon. I guess from my understanding, they're already kind of rolling it out. Um, let me take a drink real quick. They're kind of rolling it out already across some creators. I don't know when they're going to actually come out with like a full release of it but a long time ago you remember there used to be likes and dislikes and it was all public you could see how many likes and dislikes were on a video and then they they removed the dislike count but you can still see the like count um as a creator in youtube studio you can still see the the dislikes you can see the bar you can see how many people like and dislike but as a viewer you can only see the likes um the only way to know about the dislikes is if you disliked it yourself but from my understanding youtube is planning on rolling out a feature where the, the the view count for videos is going to be hidden publicly so like right now on the home page or if you search videos or if you're on your subscription tab or whatever whenever you see a video before you click on it it'll tell you like 10 views 100 views 10k views stuff like that from my understanding they're going to be hiding that so that way, when you are browsing YouTube, whether it's search, homepage, recommended, whatever, the viewers will not see the view count for the video. They won't know how many views it has. Um, and we'll get into that in a second more. But also when you're watching the video, it won't have the view count either. Um, and that's... As, as a creator in YouTube Studio, you'll still be able to see your view count. You'll be able to see how many people have watched your videos. And f with with big YouTubers like Moist, um, Drama Alert, all them, you're going to know, like, hey, that's a big creator. They're going to have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of views. But if it's somebody that you don't recognize, you're not going to know how many views they have. Um, so I can see it's a double-edged sword. I can see the good in it. I can see the bad in it. A lot of people have been voicing their concern, saying that it's overall bad. But I can I can see the light in it. You know, I can, as a small creator myself, I can understand the good in it. But I don't know if YouTube is doing that to encourage people to be more likely to watch small creators. But then again there's the large creators people already know there's gonna be a lot of views if it's a name they don't recognize chances are it's not a large creator I don't know how that's gonna affect overall demographics I don't know how much it's gonna change the algorithm for how much it's gonna push videos um, I can see that there's probably gonna be a lot more clickbait stuff to try to get people to watch something and it's well clickbait so, I don't know how YouTube is going to fight against that, or if they're going to allow clickbait. But, I... It's... YouTube is making these changes. And it's going to make the, the watch page and the home page very minimalistic. And it's going to look, like, bland and boring. Because it's just going to be a video thumbnail, a title, and the creator's name. That's it. On the browse. And on the video watch page, there's still going to be comments. Please... Please don't let them take away comments completely. They already have it as a feature for YouTube kids where there's no comments. They already have it as a feature for creators to disable comments if they want. So, with the view count being hidden, I can see the bad, I can see the good. It's not fully implemented yet, but they are starting to roll it out with some people. And it's just, I don't know how it's going to work out. I guess time will tell. Um, but yeah, that's basically the update. YouTube is going to be removing public view counts on videos. So, yay, let's look forward to that and see how that goes.